Hello everyone, welcome to Tesla Technologies Private Limited. My name is Ashim Dutta and today we are going to discuss about rear axle assembly full floating and its order code is 29714. So in this video we are going to discuss how it works. So this is the rear axle assembly full floating cut section model. This is the spring push on nut, then brake, backing plate nut, then axle shaft assembly, then bearing assembly. then seal assembly is also there and similarly all these things are present at that end also and here we are having that rotor and you can see the function or mechanism here like when i rotate this so when i rotate this you can see the working mechanism as i am rotating this in clockwise direction so the wheels are rotating like this and due to this the wheels will rotate you can see the rotation of wheels here so as i am rotating this you can see the wheels movement like this so that is how this rear axle assembly work now we will discuss the working mechanism so between the differential and the drive wheels is the rear axle to transmit the power from the differential to the drive wheels it is clear from the construction of the differential that the rear axle is not a single piece but is in two halves connected by the differential one part known as the drive shaft the inner end of the drive shaft is connected to the differential sun gear and the outer end of the drive wheel in rear wheel drive vehicles the rear wheels are the driving wheels whereas in front wheel drive vehicles the front wheels are the driving wheels almost all rear axles of modern passenger cars are live axles that is they rotate with the wheels dead axles simply remain stationary they do not move with the wheel a housing completely encloses the rear axle and differential protecting them from water dust and injury as well as mounting their internal bearings and providing a reservoir of lubricant types of rear axle in automobile systems are depending upon the methods of supporting the rear axle and mounting the rear wheels the three types of rear axle are as follows semi floating axle full floating axle and three quarter floating axle so this is the working mechanism of rear axle assembly full floating cut section model so that's all the demonstration from my side if you have any query related to this equipment you can contact at tesca global website you can find the link in the description for more information go through the manual thank you for watching this video if you like this video like share and subscribe to our channel